Well, here we are in Charlton. And who lives in a house like this? Probably someone who's making a badly made video or something. That's a hint for you. Come with me. Actually, nobody lives here because it's full of a million cameras, millions of people and loads of wires. So there's no room to live. So let's see what they're doing inside. Come with me. Fantastic mate, Damon. Right. Straight in the deep end. <laughs> here we are in Charlton, your hometown. It is. What right. are we doing here? Well, you tell me. I mean, it's one of those surreal days that me and you have, isn't it? I know, yeah. There's about 8 million people here. There's about 4 million cameras. And we're making a fantastic pop video, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Right, so what's the song called? It's called A Journey From A To Timperley. Yeah. And it's uh, it's, it's the next single off, off the album Born In Timperley. The Born In Timperley album, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and uh, how's that doing? Because <coughs> somebody over there has bought it, so you've sold at least one up to now, haven't you? It's selling... <laughs> it's selling by, it's selling by the, the bucket load in Timperley and Cholton, yeah. yeah. It is out, actually, in the shops, you know, like, real shops, like... All right. You know, like, what well, local shops? Do yeah. you take it round on your bike yourself? You can get it in Kingspot. All right. On um, on Balamoro, where you get all the you know like the cheap decorations for Christmas. It's in Kingspot in a little bargain. In the bargain bit. Like Twenty. If they put feet. sawdust in that, it'd be like a brand tub, wouldn't it? That's a good idea for Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> have you ever cut one of your own records? Because I have. Actually, have really you actually done the, the mechanics of it? I haven't actually, Frank, no. It's fantastic. I did one, right, in the studio, and they had a plumb line that dropped, and that drives the machine. Did you know that? A plumb line? Yeah, with a weight on it, and that's how you get the perfect thing. That's how you get the perfect speed. You sure? And you can choose how thick your grooves are as well. You look under a big microscope and have a look. And you can choose how thick the grooves are? Yeah, but I have Amoeba Frank to check my grooves. Is it better to have thicker grooves than thinner ones, or...? Thick ones for the bass guitar, like Paul McCartney. All right. Thin ones if you've got a weedy voice, like Little Frank. Right, right. So, uh, if, if if McCartney and Little Frank did a duet, how, what kind of groove would you go for there? Um, well, you could have a big one, but you'd have a separate little tiny... Tiny Little Frank groove next to it. Pathetic groove for Little Frank. And would the needle have to jump between the two grooves, or do you combine them? You can, you can cut a double groove. Right. And depending where the needle drops, that's what you hear. I don't get it. It's too technical for me, this. I know. It's show business. <laughs> There's so much to think about in show business. <laughs> anyway, that's why I say I have Amoeba Frank to check the grooves. He's me one-cell ventriloquist puppet. Well, I love little Frank. I've not met him, though. I've not, I've Amoeba Frank. You can't oh, see him. <laughs> you need a microscope. He's probably here somewhere. Do you like you probably it? think it's a speck of dust on the floor, but it's Amoeba Frank. <laughs> Is it so he's around somewhere? He's around somewhere, yeah. How'd you find him? With a microscope cloth ears, was he not listening? No. It's inside us. Welcome to the overground. Right, we're, us, uh, we're back on go. <laughs> we're back on go in show you business. Don't want to be in, do you? My girlfriend Claire's over there, look, she's she's on set, but she, she's probably a bit nervous. Hello, Claire! Have a look in the main room where oh, it's yeah, all been Let's happening. have a look in the main room. Hold the camera in here. <laughs> it's uh, mass confusion as the set's fallen down. But that's show business. That sort of thing does happen. Happened uh, on Ben Hur, I think, didn't it? We've they had problems with the sets. We've happened on King Kong. It's like this. This video shoot's been like apocalypse now, trying to trying to get to the end of it's, it. It's like, it's like a seventies disaster movie, isn't it? <laughs> Well, they're Look always big hits, aren't they? Town in Inferno and things like that. Poseidon Adventure. Poseidon. Yeah, we could turn the room upside down. That'd be good. And try and escape out the cellar. Yeah, and leave, the, the, taps, the, and leave the taps running. Can you swim? I, I've not swum for years, but I still can, I think, like riding a bike. Have you got a baby in costume here, just in case? I've, I packed one, yeah. Did you? I'll have to go in my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is 
Sean, my fantastic bass player. Sean! Hello, Sean. How are you doing, it's boss? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you, Frank. It's an honour. And you play the bass guitar, don't you? Bass, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only got four strings. That is that for people who can't master six? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. We can't count up to five. It's true. And how long did it take you to learn the bass guitar, if you don't mind me asking? About <laughs> two hours. There you have it. If you're thinking of getting in show business, do the easy thing like he did. Get a bass guitar like him and Paul McCartney, and it's a doddle. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, Frank. This is Alex, my drummer. Hello, Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello there. That's, no, that's just hitting stuff, isn't it? It's a piss. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> piece of piss. Alex and Sheldon and Sarah are also drummers. Are you a drummer as well? I certainly am, yeah. You, uh, you're in the pop video, aren't you? I am in the pop video. <laughs> well, you're having a rest, you said, because yeah. it's very tidy. Yeah. You see, it's not all great fun being in a pop video. You have to be here for hours and hours, stood under lights, grueling, listening to him, <laughs> drone on and on with his thin, weedy groove that he's responsible for in show business. Come here. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Right, before you go... Yes. Yeah. What is actually your job on this uh, fantastic uh, pop video? I'm the pop video director. <laughs> right, and what does that uh, involve exactly? Sitting around, drinking cups of tea, chatting to people, um, looking at cute runners. And hey, listen, have you not got one of them big megaphones where you shout, Action! Uh, <laughs> so I've, I've misplaced it, and I also had a, a kind of cravat and these big kind of puffy trousers as well, do you know what I mean? Have you got a chair with your name written on it? I left them in the, the uh, travel in. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, forgot. Thank you very much, Damon. I've just snotted on my hand there, Frank. Sorry about that. Ooh, <laughs> blimey. <laughs> the end. Oh, yes. Uh, of course, whack. Come along. Honestly. Oh, yes, we've got you on the show. You're not on the other channel in a bit, are you? You're definitely coming on my show. Brilliant. Oh, who was that? Who was that, you might well ask? It was none other than Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney from the Beatles. Yes, Paul McCartney. That wasn't Tony Wilson putting on a stupid voice, as usual, trying to pretend to be Paul McCartney. We've got Paul McCartney coming after the break. So smarten yourself up what you dressed like that for. You should know, you did it. Oh, yeah, I did it. Right, quick, smarten up. Everything's going wrong. We've got to get ready for my special guest, Paul McCartney. Coming on this show. Right. It's Frank Sidebottom's proper telly show. And welcome back to my proper telly show. Well, people said I'd never get him. Oh, he's here. The one and only, our favourite Beatle. Oh, Ringo. No, not Ringo. The one and only, Paul McCartney. <laughs> oh, Jane Ashley, didn't you? Because you was dead famous with her and everything. And then you was marrying Linda McCartney and doing the wings. And then he was marrying Heather and being solo. Now, he's most successful with Beatles and Jane, most se second successful with Linda and the Wings, and least successful with Heather and solo career. Uh, what's your favourite? Is this the only job you can get? What? I said, is this the only job you can get? What do you mean, is this the only job I can get? This is good work, this, right? It's just playing notes and crosses with you and going, woo, and play my keyboard. And do that all night. And it's guaranteed work because it's seven hours a night. Well, depending how late they start in the morning and how late they finish at night. But it's on Hollywood Bowl and the Shea Stavridge, about seven hours a night uh, times 30. Who's in picture here or what? What's going on? I'm trying to do a fantastic interview with Paul McCartney. My keyboard doesn't even work, so we can't sing Mull of Timpley at the end of the show. What is going on? Wait till I get this hand on, Tony Wilson. Blam it. Are we back? That's 35. What's that? Seven? 
times 35 is, it's about 40-something four, hours a week. So 40-something hours a week, a pound an hour is about 40-something, about a pound an hour in euro 